Hey guys, Ernie here, and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we'll continue our quest to try all 24 of the current MRE menus. Today is menu number three, chicken, noodles, and vegetables in sauce. Thanks for watching. So here it is, menu number three, chicken, noodles, and vegetables in sauce. Another meal made by Ameriqual in Evansville, Indiana. Production code on this is the 177th day of 2018, so let's try to get this thing open. It's kind of a mixed bag on whether you can get these open like this or not, or you need to cut them. All right, so uh, one out of three so far I've been able to open. Here we are. Let's see what we got. Let's pull everything out, check it out. All right, so right off the top, main meal, chicken and noodles. Put that right over here. Once again, we have our nutritional information and our little sleeve for when we put it in the FRH. Ooh, what's this? Applesauce. It says applesauce enhanced with maltodextrin for increased performance. We've got, oh, a different spread this time, peanut butter. Well, well, once again, we've got orange-based beverage powder. Crackers, I would assume to go along with our peanut butter. Ooh, nice, blackberry jam, a little jam and peanut butter. That's pretty nice. Real deal Holyfield Skittles. This happens to be the wild berry version. Of course, our spoon. Oh, we've got a little bit of pepper sauce. Could have used this on our last taste testing. Once again, we've got our FRH and our beverage bag. Taking a look at the now familiar Accessory pack, we've got toilet paper, non-dairy creamer, moist towelette, coffee, type two, instant spray dried, salt, gum, and MRE matches. As always, we're gonna start by getting our main meal heating up in the FRH as it takes the longest, and then we'll get everything out onto a tray. All right, we're gonna try something a little bit different. I haven't had the best luck so far in getting the FRH to really heat things through. And I actually think this meal is gonna be pretty good. So I'm gonna try something different. I watched a couple of videos, sounds silly, but I did. I'm gonna put it in and then I'm gonna have this FRH on the bottom, okay? I'll fill it up and then I'm going to invert it and I'm gonna put it like this so that the water will slowly move down the FRH and hopefully heat it up. The stuff I've seen online, people really have a lot better results than I have, so. We'll try this. All right, so there it is. Make sure not overfill. All right, did not overfill. Fold it over really good. All right, tuck that in right there. Now, FRH is on the side, so I'm going to lean it like this, basically. I hear my water boiling, so we're gonna make some coffee here. Same thing, I made sure and measured my coffee a little bit better, or my water a little bit better. Here is our creamer. And here's our coffee. Here's our water. Which I just about burnt my hand doing. Used a different stove today and it got the handle pretty warm. There's our coffee. That will make our orange beverage. I don't think I need to measure this out because I have a pretty good idea of where it needs to be. And we'll do a little stirring. So once again, there are our two beverages waiting for the main meal to be ready. Let's take a look at everything while the main meal warms up. We'll start with our Skittles. Those should be pretty easy, right? It's a pretty nice portion of Skittles. This is the applesauce. This is kind of interesting, okay? Four and a half ounces of applesauce, 40 grams of carbohydrates, so quite a bit of carbohydrates. All right, should be able to just kind of ooze it in here. There we go. Have a feeling this is gonna be very sweet applesauce. All right, next we'll look at our crackers. These crackers are probably about this, basically the same as in, one of, in uh, menu number one. Nice little hiss there. Oh, no, these are different. Oh, we've got a crack. We've got a crack, these are different. The other ones were kind of herb crackers. These look like more traditional white crackers, which actually makes sense because we've got uh, basically peanut butter and jelly to go on them. And we're gonna do just that. We're gonna put peanut butter and jelly 
Be curious to see what this peanut butter tastes like on its own. I'm just kind of kneading it. It's a little bit hard in places. It's clearly smooth peanut butter, much to my wife's dismay. She's a big fan of the crunchy. The crunchier the better. All right, let's just put a couple of lines here. I do want to try this just on its own. Let's see what the peanut butter is like on its own. It's very good, salty. It is not sweet. Uh, does not have kind of like that jiff, you know, just super sweet flavor. So that's that's nice. I like peanut butter that tastes more like peanuts, and this definitely does. Salty and peanut. All right, here's our blackberry jam. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just kind of knead it up. One of the nice things about these uh, MREs is they really are made well. These pouches are not going to tear. Uh, they shouldn't tear at least. I think it, it, it says to cut it across here. I'm gonna try to just take off an end here so I can squeeze out, let's see. I think the sweetness of the jam will be really necessary. That peanut butter really is, I think it will be very thirst provoking on its own. Maybe not what you want when you're out in the field. All right, FRH worked way, way better this time. I actually, I, what I did was, it seems like when it's laying flat, I'm actually gonna look. I mean, I, I would swear, yeah, it says to put it against a rock. It says to put it against a rock, but I put it flat like this and it worked like a charm. So it is hot. I expect this meal to be fairly good. That would be my expectation. Uh, I think it's gonna be kind of almost like the inside of a chicken pot pie. Ooh, this is hot. Okay, this is much more like it. I think I figured out the FRH thing. There we go. All right, stand up here. Let's get this out. You can see it's actually pretty darn warm this time, which is nice. Nice big chunks of chicken. Noodles. All right, we're gonna start with our orange drink again. Why not? Yep, tastes just like the orange drink from uh, one and two. Let's see what we got with our coffee. I don't know, guys. Coffee's just not very good. All right, here we go. Let's try some of the applesauce. Can't be bad, right? Applesauce. I don't know the last time I had applesauce. I mean, it's been probably 15 years, just like I remember it. Honestly, not a big fan of applesauce, but this isn't bad at all. I mean, it tastes like applesauce. It does taste extremely sweet. All right, here we go. This is just a peanut butter and jelly cracker, basically. You also could, of course, use your crackers, you know, with the chicken. Uh, there's a lot of things you could do. Would have been nice to have like a shelf-stable piece of bread to make a PB&J. That would have been really nice. I don't know what else you would do with the peanut butter and the jelly. You're not gonna add it to the chicken, so the only thing you could really use it with is the crackers, so. I mean, honestly, there's, there's nothing better than peanut butter and jelly. It just, it's just classic and good. Oh, nice break. Nice break, y'all see that? There is just, there's just nothing wrong with peanut butter and jelly. And here's the thing, the peanut butter and the jelly is good. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, peanut butter and jelly on its own can kind of survive being not the best. But like I said, the peanut butter is not sweet. It's very salty, very savory, really good. And of course the jelly is super sweet. So it works out really, really well. Let's try out this main meal. Um, y'all know that I like the sniff test. And to be honest with y'all, the sniff test, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling this one. It just looks like canned chicken stew, which just doesn't seem too appetizing to me. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely got that um, canned flavor to it, but it's not, it's not too bad. The nice big chunks of chicken does help. Okay, I got a little carrot, little peas, little noodles. Yeah, you know, not bad. Um, actually, better than I thought it would be. It's not my, my favorite thing in the world, but it is better than I thought. Reality is I could and will eat this whole thing. It's, it's pretty good. After a long day, uh, you know, in the field, whether it be, you know, backpacking if you're using it or the actual soldiers, I can see where this, man, this would hit the spot, but not as much as peanut butter and jelly. You know, they could have thrown in like some tortillas or something. You could have done tortillas with this and then you could definitely use this. Cause I feel now like maybe you really want to use one of these crackers with the uh, the chicken, but a chicken does stand alone on itself. Dry crackers, somewhat dry peanut butter, definitely thirst provoking. Let's try the last thing before we go talk about uh, the meal and rate it. I mean, I like Skittles, so these are gonna be a 10. You know, the biggest thing about the Skittles is that 
It's kind of like walking into a McDonald's. You know exactly what you're going to get. If you uh, ask for a quarter pounder, you, you go to Chick-fil-A, you know exactly what you're going to get with the chicken sandwich. It always tastes the same. I guarantee it's nice for the soldiers to have something that kind of reminds them of home. Skittles is going to do that. Any of the candy from here in the States is going to remind you of home. And it's going to be something really familiar and really comforting. At least that's my opinion. Skittles are obviously very good. So let's sit back and let's talk about this meal. All right, so let's talk about menu number three, chicken noodles, vegetables in sauce. Honestly, I had a lot of high expectations for this particular uh, meal. I thought it sounded really good. Mm, not sure that I like it too much. Let's remind ourselves of the rating system. It's gonna be a one to 10. A one is food that I would hesitate to even give to my dog. Five is something that is edible, but not necessarily enjoyable. And a 10 is something that I would eat any day of the week. I think it's so good, I'll eat it no problem. We'll start again with the drinks. Now I have reviewed both these drinks in the last two videos, but I'll tell you the coffee, the coffee's just still not good. Uh, I'm trying to like it more. This one seemed even more bitter than before. Uh, I didn't have the Splenda, which maybe made a difference, but uh, the coffee's back down to just like a, you know, I'm gonna give it a five today. It's just not good. Again, the orange drink on this one, I I've enjoyed the orange drink in the other menus. This one seemed off. I added the same amount of water um, and it just didn't seem as flavorful, felt a little bit off, almost a little minerally. So I don't know if that's the water I used because it was a little bit different, but we'll give it a six today. The orange, the orange drink had a six. Now looking at the applesauce, we have to start with the fact that I, I don't like applesauce. I, I just don't like it. I don't like the texture of it. This was good applesauce. It was just fine. Uh, probably a seven. It was really, really sweet. Uh, but it did taste very much like apples. I mean, it tasted like fresh apples, didn't feel overly processed, which is a good thing. So we'll give it a seven. The crackers on their own are very bland. There's no salt on the crackers, so you definitely have to add something. So on their own, the crackers are probably like a six. The peanut butter, like I said, very thirst provoking, but not sweet, and that's the way that I like my peanut butter. I thought it was wonderful. I'd use it at home. I'll give it a nine. Jelly, same thing. I'll give it a nine. I mean, it's really, really good. There's better things out there, but this is just as good as anything. If you're going to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, as long as the jelly tastes good and is sweet, you're good to go. Put it all together. You put those crackers and you put that peanut butter and that jelly. I'm going to give it a 10. I'm a big fan of peanut butter and jelly. What can I say? I mean, put peanut butter and jelly on a shoe and I'll probably eat it. But don't put peanut butter and jelly in the chicken. So going on to the main dish, it's kind of hard, guys. Like I said, I was really expecting like a like something different you know it's one of like those Lipton chicken rice dishes I was thinking man this is gonna be good it had kind of an overwhelming flavor of canned chicken that's not necessarily bad but it's not my favorite flavor you know that canned chicken's kind of got that gelatinous feel to it not a big fan of that just didn't taste natural it tasted quite processed and although I know it is some of the other meals we've had have not tasted this processed that said it's not terrible I mean it's not like below a five it's definitely something that's more than just tolerable. I'm gonna go with my first half. This is gonna be a six and a half. No, 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 we're just gonna give it a seven. It's gonna be a seven. Now the Skittles, I mean, what can I say? You either like them or you don't. They're Skittles, they're perfect, they're fresh, they're a 10. The overall score for this, I tend to really lean on the main dish as kind of the, the big factor. There were a lot of good with the peanut butter and the jelly, but I'm still gonna go with a seven overall for this meal. I think you have to have a really high quality, tasty main dish if I'm gonna give it a really high score. Menu number three, chicken noodles and vegetables in sauce, gets a seven. So there you go guys, as always, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. This is our third in the series of 24 videos detailing and reviewing all 24 menus on the current MRE list. I'll leave a playlist down below, and as I add all the videos, I'll put them on there. Make sure you check them out and check out the other MRE reviews. If you found us because of this MRE review, make sure you check out the other content. I got all kinds of stuff, preparedness, outdoors, hiking, backpacking, gear reviews, all kinds of cool stuff, so check it out. If you like the video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up down below. That really helps spread things across YouTube. And that is how we grow here on YouTube. Likes, comments, subscriptions subscriptions. So if you're not subscribed, hit the button down below as well. Make sure you subscribe. And if you want to make sure you're the first one to know when I let out a new video, hit the ding dong bell and you'll be the first to know. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Really enjoying these MRE videos. Kind of a departure from a lot of the stuff we've done in the past. Definitely not in tune with our paleo lifestyle, but nonetheless, sometimes you got to try these things. MREs are very popular. They're readily accessible. They're fairly inexpensive for what you get. And I think it's something good to take a look at. Hope everyone's enjoying their summer. Hope everyone is safe. And I hope the weather is not as hot as it is here in Louisiana. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.